are talking Paranormal Wactivity from 2013, and this is directed by Roger Roth. Now, this is a comedy spoof movie along the lines of the scary movie franchise. This one obviously taking shots at the Paranormal Activity movie, along with other horror properties and non-horror properties alike. The story of this movie focuses on this couple who are living in this house together, and the woman is seemingly not, not interested in sex, whilst the guy is just obsessed with trying to make some type of sex tape that he wants to produce for various reasons. And it seems the woman's lack of interest in sex may be due to this uh, demonic presence which is in this house, uh, causing her to not be interested in her partner. And it is up to now this couple to find out what's kind of going on. Can they kind of defeat it and uh, hilarious escapades along the way. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So spoof movies are somewhat of an acquired taste and they tend to be very much of a moment in time. The, the kind of the big ones, Naked Gun, uh, Airplane and the aforementioned scary movie, I would say, for the most part are enjoyed by many people, but there are kind of plenty of examples of these kind of parody or spoof movies that just kind of fall by the wayside. They tend to be quite current in regards to what they are mimicking and parodying in regards to kind of pop culture moments, and as such, they tend to be somewhat kind of dated. Let's talk about what works in this one. Now, surprisingly, this one actually looks quite well shot. It isn't a found footage movie, um, although there are a few kind of sequences in found footage, like as I was probably, and uh, most people will probably expect being a, a, a kind of a riff on paranormal activity. Instead, it has about 70% of its footage, I would say, is traditionally filmed, and you know, a few shots here and there are kind of found footage. But the kind of the actual quality of the production looks higher than I was expecting. Let me just kind of say that. It actually looks like reasonable kind of like care has been taken to make this actually look fairly good in regards to its kind of uh, technical ele elements of the movie. So, you know, there you go. It was higher quality production than I was expecting. Uh, obviously, it kind of having these fan footage elements as well and parodying scenes directly from paranormal activity movies and more you get avatar ghostbusters things like this they're, they're kind of fun there are a few jokes here that i think were somewhat kind of amusing it's very much kind of sex-based humor through the movie it kind of feels like the people behind this movie felt a little bit like sex starved teenagers to a degree so obviously humor it being somewhat subjective by its nature it is going to depend on kind of what what you find funny ultimately and if you like lots of sex gags and kind of jokes about ejaculates and things like that and dick jokes sex toy jokes there's plenty of that in this movie if you're not so much interested in that sort of style of humor then you may want to look kind of elsewhere i actually did quite like both our leads though i think they actually were a fairly good mix of parody and silliness but also kind of quite you know you could have got into the sort of the characters to a degree as well so you know it's, it's a fine line to straddle uh, but i gotta say i think you know our characters were still quite engaging but also obviously we were quite broad in the kind of the, the kind of the comedy as well one of the things i think um this movie did fairly well was it didn't make the the two characters unlikable they were kind of quite likable even though some of the obviously the, the humor it is quite broad so it's going to be down to you whether you think this is going to be an enjoyable film. If you like spoofs, then it's more of the same. But what I will say for me, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of spoofs, to be honest with you. There's one or two that I kind of don't mind, but I've never uh, been a huge fan of it. And uh, this one to me was less funny than the majority that I have seen. I think the jokes tended to keep, to be quite similar through the movie. It doesn't have a lot of variety in its kind of like approach to sense of humour. It is mostly just a sex joke. Or, oh, it's a rubber doll. Oh, it's some sort of sex doll. Oh, there's some type of demon ejaculate all over the place. Things like that. And it's the same sort of kind of like broad strokes of this humour again and again and again. So I didn't find it personally all of that funny. The movie also being a horror comedy, so I would have liked to have maybe seen a little bit more of an extension on a, 
a creepier scene and obviously, you know, ending in a joke maybe, but it's really never a kind of actual horror. It's just using that as a basis of the comedy. So it's more of a, um, a comedy about horrors rather than being a horror comedy, if that kind of makes sense. I think some of the kind of the, the side characters seem very throwaway, forgettable. There's not really one kind of big kind of set piece. It's all very much taking place in this kind of one house. And ultimately, I think, um, somewhat runs out of steam. You know, it does kind of have a, a couple of weird sequences. We get a, an Avatar, James Cameron's Avatar kind of like sequence, for example. Um, but it, it ends up being, you know, for fair, somewhat of a one-trick pony, ultimately. Uh, I, like I said, I, I didn't mind the characters, and I, th and I thought the production value was better than I was expecting. But ultimately, for me, it was neither funny nor scary, nor particularly kind of interesting. So ultimately, although I think this movie on a technical element may have been better than I was expecting, it, it was not funny, particularly uh, outside of a few kind of chuckles here and there. I'll give it a 3 out of 10. It's going to find an audience, potentially, uh, if you like very broad sense of humour, but I suspect... Um, it could have done with varying up a little bit, if you if you want my honest opinion. Three out of ten, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Or would you see it? Please do let me know, and I'll, and I'll see you next time.